Hello Commanders and welcome to part 3 of the Austrian Empire series. In the last episode which was Operation Torino it was 100% successful as you can see I am already entering the last city standing for Italy. Italy did a huge mistake by deciding to attack Miliodas in Austria. It was a very unfortunate for him and that resulted on his death. Now which is something very important. I need to go back and refill my uh, defensive stand versus Germany because here you know that uh, my land borders with Germany they are totally exposed so I need to um, fill the cities of Brienz and Innsbruck uh, and fill them with uh, national guards to be able to have decent defenses there here is the situation in Poland Poland was destroyed annihilated totally by Syria and uh, Spain uh, a small reminder that uh, uh, Spain and Syria they are on the same uh, coalition, so basically they are working together to dissolve each city, each nation in Europe. But here I need to be careful, because I have a threat from Germany, I have a threat from the West, from United Kingdom, as United Kingdom is attacking France, and also a big, big threat coming from the East, from the Polish side, as Austria and Spain, they are advancing fast and trying to get as much lands as possible, especially here they are advancing to the city of Bratislava, which is two meters away from my capital Vienna. I need to be cautious, because here, if someone declares war on me and carries on an invasion overnight, this is for speed game, he can totally, totally destroy all of Austria overnight. So here needs these first days, they need 100% activity. I need to spend a lot of time on the laptop, playing all the time. And this is the coalition that is presenting a huge threat for us. This is Romania, he's focusing on uh, a naval base level 2. So guys, just a small question, what do you think? Should I stay inland and just focus on air force and land armies or I should make navy? Especially that I do not have coastal cities, so making navy is going to be a bit complicated as I'm going to be forced to uh, annex some uh, coastal cities. So this is question for you guys, what do you think? Should I? And next coastal cities in Italy and make navies or no, I invest my resources on other things. Yeah, you will help me so much when you answer this question. Here Syria is entering the city of Bratislava with an armored division. This is very bad for me. I do not want to declare war on him now because I do not know what kind of uh, armies they have. And also he is moving um, alongside his ally Spain is going to be a bit complicated to be attacked by both of them so I will be patient I will be patient for now but I might now I will choose to attack uh, Germany because here Germany is um, is alone his allies that are dissolved his allies that are destroyed so basically I will not expect any retaliation from his allies so this keeps him an easy target for me especially now that i have the strike fighters the strike fighters that are going to help me a lot to launch some airstrikes on his homeland cities and infiltrate his uh, cities with my national guards so this is very good if i manage successfully to take down all of the federal of germany i will 100 percent successful in managing my resources and boosting up my economy because yeah Germany has a lot of cities a lot of uh, provinces that uh, produce uh, resources which is going to be good you see there are a lot of provinces supplies components rare materials a diversity of provinces there so yep the first important thing in resources management and in boosting up your economy you need to expand you cannot stay in your small nation and expect your economy to be strong you will have, you will have to expand and you will have to conquer more land. So this is why now I am trying to send my national guards in all different directions like that. I will uh, try to conquer all of Germany in a small amount of time because here the threat is coming from the city of Bratislava which is very close to my capital Vienna. And I need to uh, conquer Germany as fast as possible so later I can fortify my defenses in my capital and spam more strike fighters and see what is going to happen in the future days because yeah I know I am in a complicated situation here because the threats that are coming from all the ways and I am uh, isolated in the middle uh, the good thing that I killed my first enemy now I am killing my second enemy and I will continue like this hunting nations one by one I will try to hunt them one by one because you know in the jungle law in the laws of the jungle etc the predators they only they only target the isolated preys 
So he will try to find the weakest one of them. And he will find an isolated one of them because his allies, he will not fight with them. This is the strategy I am going to follow with Austria as I am going to try to kill them nation by nation isolated. I do not want to engage with the full coalition that is fighting with each other, that he is in harmony, he is in like... Uh, they are active and pushing together. I do not want that because I do not now I'm not 100% um, ready to be able to pull off such a huge war and uh, a large scale battle. So I need to be smart in this because as usual our first uh, our first goal is to uh, have a solo win and of course give the best series ever full of action, full of strategies and teach you new stuff, new maneuvers boys. This is very important. This is their other ally, Norway. Look at Norway. He has a lot of naval bases. Looks like Norway is focusing 100% on uh, navy and he conquered successfully all of Sweden in only 7 days. A small reminder that uh, Sweden has a lot of mountains and jungles. So in that case, um, conquering Sweden in 7 days is good thing, a very good thing for Norway and this makes him on our watch list. Okay, Munich has fallen, Frankfurt is going to fall soon as it is totally now uh, destroyed. His defenses there, they have been killed by my uh, strike fighters. Now let's go to the capital Berlin. Palermo has fallen also and the remaining provinces, they are fallen for Italy. Now our war with Italy is uh, finished. I can focus all my troops on Germany. You see here, I did not waste my time to go after the AI nations. I uh, used my time to kill active players first because those AI nations, they are not going anywhere. They are going to remain there and if someone else kill them, no problem. But for me, my priority is to kill active players first because like that I will push away all threats from me and reduce the amount of players in this game. So in that case, later on, if I have spare time, I have spare resources, spare units, I can gather some uh, AI nations to uh, boost my economy more and annex some cities, of course. There is here a Polish aircraft residing in the airfield of Berlin. I am going to enter the city of Colonia. Also, Frankfurt has fallen successfully. Leipzig also has fallen. Uh, the capital Berlin is my next target. Hanover, Hamburg and Kiel. Okay, let's go to Berlin. There is uh, infantry is there defending the capital. It's going to be an easy target for my strike fighters. Guys, don't worry. I know that even the elite attack aircrafts, they exist in the game now. Also, strike fighters, they are lethal. And if you have strike fighters and your enemy has elite attack aircrafts, you can hunt his elite attack aircrafts with your strike fighters. So don't worry, strike fighters, they always, always remain the jackpot of the game, the golden unit, always. Because it has a lot of tactical, a lot of tactical uh, maneuvers and, uh, and um, abilities, of course, because it is so strong against land forces it also can hunt helicopters and elite attack aircrafts and drones as well of course keep them away from the air superiority fighters Do never on air never mess with air superiority fighters never okay the invasion is 100 percent successful you can see that i annihilated all of germany without losing one second national guard why because i'm using my air force Smartly, I'm not throwing my National Guards directly to cities. I only send them to empty cities just to gather them. That's all. I am also um, upgrading my motorized infantry to level 4 because I also want the range attack of the motorized infantry. Okay, boys, we are at the end of uh, today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. We will meet in the next one. Also, I... I, there is a, this new small project here in the community of YouTube. I am making some polls just to know what are your favorite units. So don't forget to go vote on the polls in the community section on my YouTube channel and tell me what is your favorite unit there. See you guys and bye bye.